Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike from Boston Bowers. Um, I know I haven't made a video in like, you know, probably a month or maybe longer. Um, I just want to give you guys an update on what's been going on. It's been laying low with everything that's been going on. You know, it's been crazy times out there, you know, so. But um, overall, everything's going good here. It's crazy hot today outside. It's in the 80s. The humidity is literally in the 70s. Um, that's why I see a lot of the lights behind me are shut off. I mean, it's just super, super muggy. So putting in the ACs today, I mean, it's, it's getting nasty out. So summer is officially here, guys, because it is definitely nasty out here. And I'm in Massachusetts, so right on the water, too. So it's usually nice and, you know, breezy, cool weather here, but it is muggy as hell today. But um, so far in the breeding season, you know, we've had um, our first litter drop 17 days ago, which was beautiful litter. We got 28 live babies, guys. 28 live, no slugs, no stillborns. Absolutely, I was ecstatic. It was my biggest litter ever. I've never got that many, especially for it to be a perfect litter with no slugs, no stillborns. That even topped it off. I mean, it was just, she did a fantastic job. I couldn't be happier. And um, I just want to say this, also shout out to MJ Exotics for this uh, t-shirt right here. Go follow his Instagram, uh, pick up your t-shirt. All the proceeds go to help uh, Forrest's family. So uh, definitely grab a t-shirt, guys. T-shirts are really nice. And uh, check out your back. Definitely cool, definitely worth it. So uh, pick one up and uh, go help out. But, um, you know, for what's going on right now, we definitely have one more gravid female. She's right here in this enclosure. She's... 100% gravid. She's due. Um, I have her 105. I count to. I count down to the 105 day mark. Some people count down to 100. Um, I have her marked down for 105 days. Is June 24th. So hopefully she'll go what a couple days earlier, a couple days after. So hopefully end of June. She's already looking huge. Um, so we have definitely uh, that female right there. And then uh, we have another female here. She's actually in the water because it's so hot. But there she is. She could possibly be gravid. She'd also be due probably late June or early July. Um, I'm on the fence with her, but she could be. It's her first season breeding, so we'll just have to see what happens with her. And um, I did have another one right here, this albino female. As you see, she's right there coming out of her hide. She's still on the hot spot right now, so she could be gravid. And she'd be due. Her 105 day was July 9th. So... So yeah, guys, things that you know, things are possibly heating up. Hopefully, um, we'll at least get that. We're definitely gonna hit this girl in here. And there's no light on right now, but as you see, there she is, right there, just curled up on the hot spot. Even though it's so nasty, hot, and humid today, she's still on her hot spot, which is a good sign. So babies are cooking healthy, pretty nice in there. So um, I'm really happy to see what she's gonna do. So yeah, so things are things are going, you know, they're going here. So hopefully we got three snakes that could possibly be gravid. One of them I'm saying 100% for sure with Helen Girl right there. And hopefully we'll get one of the other two. That would be um, fantastic. But you know what? Let's take a look at um, a few of the babies that we just got 17 days. Okay, so what you're looking at here is um, six of the babies. We had 28, so obviously I'm not going to be able to show you them all. I'm going to show you a few more. But here's two of the hypo Nicaraguans. This is a more cleaner one right here. And then if you look at this one right here, this one's more, it's got more of that, that almost like that paradox look to it. A lot of black speckling on them. And, um, you know, we did get a few nice cleaner ones like this, a nice clean hypo look. But I, I prefer actually this look right here. The kind of, you know... I mean, just just awesome, guys. And you can see what I'm saying right there and the difference. But just amazing. The hypos came out fantastic, guys. Let me put these two away and uh, try to get two more hypos out for you. That ain't so on the move. And all of them have ate at least once. Some of them have ate twice. They're feeding on live, small hoppers. And here's another two hypos right here. As you see... I kind of put a lighter one where I have two of them in each one with a darker one. And I like these darker hypos, man. These things just came out absolutely fantastic. Look at the tails. Just absolutely amazing, guys. And the Motleys came out fantastic. These Motley Nicaraguans are absolutely amazing. But just check out the color on those tails, guys. Just absolutely fantastic. 
28 babies. We got 18 hypos and 10 motleys. So let's take a look at these motleys, guys. All right, guys. These motleys came out absolutely fantastic. Just absolutely amazing. Check these guys out. It's absolutely amazing, guys. Look at that belly. Just absolutely, look how dark that one is. This one's even darker. It's absolutely amazing, guys. Check how dark this one is. Just absolutely amazing. I could not be happier with the way these Motley's came out. And they all came out beautiful. I mean, it's hard to even like, like say pick a hold back because they're just all so beautiful. And you know, they all so unique and, and good looking in their own way. It's just tough to just, it's tough to pick. Oh, okay, I want to pick this one. It's just like, you want to keep them all, you know? So, but some of these are going to be up for sale. I do hope we have about a dozen shipping out on Monday to a friend of mine. Um, you know, at, at a wholesale price. He's going to be putting them up probably on his website. Check these out, guys. Just absolutely amazing. Look at the striping on that one right there. Just absolutely amazing, guys. I couldn't be happier with them. Check out the bellies. All right, well, I'm losing these guys. Look at the bellies on them. Just absolutely amazing, guys. Like I said, these Motley's just, and they're, they're nice and small, true dwarf boas, tiny babies. Let's see if we can get them in here, it's always a task, that's why I gotta get some more baby bin space so I can have one in each one and not two. Because we definitely gotta get some more space than what you see right here. I, I need to get, um, I want a 36, a 36 bin rack with about, you know, these size with six quart bins, you know, but I need a 36, you know, at least, at least maybe even two if we're producing multiple litters, you know, and um, here's a dozen that should be going out on Monday. And this is eight hypos and four Motley's. And I'm not going to discuss prices or anything like that because this is more of like a business transaction than it is, you know, as I'm just selling them. Um, as I said, it's like a wholesale price. That's why a dozen of them are going at once. And I don't do that on every single litter I produce. Once in a while, I'll, um, I'll sell a group, maybe 10, 12 at a wholesale price. Put some money in my pocket quick, um, you know always helps somebody else out so and also gets your product out there so, and that's what it all that's what it's all about you know so here's 12 beautiful babies they've these ones have all ate twice so uh i'd say these ones are ready to go all right guys well we'll show you a couple more things uh so stay tuned okay one last thing i wanted to show you guys is the progress on my galaxy project and these are my four Galaxy holdbacks from last season. Unfortunately, um, this one is in shed, it's in the water bowl, <clears throat> but I have all of them here in one bin. And um, as you see right here, this is one of my favorites. This is the male. And just check this guy out. I mean, just amazing guys. And this isn't even under the best lighting. Let me see if I can, um, if I can get this to some better lighting. Hold on. Here we go, this is a little bit better. But just check out. This is the male right here, guys. And here's my favorite female of them all right here. Just check this girl out. Absolutely amazing. And that's another female too. Look how dark she is. She was the darkest of the whole litter right here, just like her mother. But check out this one right here, guys. Look at this girl. And I'm guessing anatheristic 
possibly. I mean, look at her. I mean, she's just amazing. Just And too bad this one was in shed because when this one's out of shed, oh my God, this one has so much speckling and just this amazing light colored look. It's, it's incredible, this girl. So there's three females and a male. And this girl right here is just, oh my God, she is my favorite. I can't wait to see what this guy and her do. That's just gonna be some amazing babies, guys. And even and even him and, and her, just him to any of the three girls is gonna be ridiculous. And this is gonna be a future um, late 2000, I might be able to do, no, it's probably gonna be 2023. This is gonna be a 2023 project. The male would be ready to go this coming season. But, um, you know, the female, I'm not going to breed him to anything, though, until I get him into his sister's here. So probably 2023 project. And uh, we'll be able to go with all three females, hopefully, that year. And, man, so this is it, guys. This is the Galaxy Project. And I held back every snake, every unique look. I wish I held back one of the normal-type-looking ones, too. You know, but I, I didn't. I held back, like just all four un different unique snakes i seen and they all look like they could have came from their a uh, different litter is what you know it's just it's uh, it's unreal to say that these are all siblings from the same litter but they are i mean just look at the difference between you know these three right here just check that out just unreal and when these things just shed the dark one just shed uh, probably about four or five days ago but when these things just come out of shed, oh my God, it, it's even it, it's even better looking. So again, this one right here, that copper looking, that copper tone looking one is uh, the male and the other three are females. And too bad this one in the water is in um, shed because man, she has so much speckling and oh, she's just an amazing looking one um, in, in her own right. But this is it guys. So this is the Galaxy Project, probably 2023. Probably around um, Halloween, I'll probably stop pairing these up of um, 2023, guys. So who the hell knows what we're going to get, but it's going to be crazy to see. It's going to be a fun project. And again, guys, I look at these and I say, how the hell are these siblings? But man, it's going to be a fun one. So all right, guys, this is Mike from Boston Boas saying until the next time, peace.